nothing worse than putting on a piece of clothing and not feeling good in it. Here are eight things you could apply to your life right now that will improve your confidence. Identifying your personal style. This can be tricky, but easy. Here is one thing you can do. Go to your local store where you normally shop, which could be Zara, H&M, anything high-end, and grab items from the oversized section, grab items from the fitted section, and try on both. See what works for you. See how you feel in it, and whatever works, grab those. Number two, a meaningful accessory. This could be anything that's sentimental from your grandparents, your great-grandparents, parents, girlfriend, boyfriend, anything that's meaningful to you that has a special place in your heart, by wearing that accessory will make you feel more confident and give you that sense of proudness. Number three, a good cologne. This does not have to be a $500 cologne, doesn't have to be a $100 cologne. It has to work for you. So go out, try different ones, get some samples. There's a good company out there called Scentbird where they send you each month uh, a small bottle of uh, a cologne that you choose and they keep sending it to you and so you don't have to go out and spend $100 or $50 on a big bottle. You can go try this one out and see what works and then if you really love this one, go and buy the big bottle. Number four, a good haircut. A good haircut will make you from a five to a 10 instantly. A good haircut could change the way you look, could change the way you feel and overall, this is probably the most important thing. It would give you the most confidence. If your forehead is too big, have longer hair to cover that up. Or it is smaller or more narrow or wide ask your barber go to a salon and just get advice from a professional because this will make you feel the most confident you have a good haircut it will make you feel more confident number five I know a lot of guys nowadays are doing it but having a good skincare routine will make or break your confidence a skincare routine that I'm using right now is right here at Tish Hanley I've been using this for two years they send you it every single month it comes with a face wash, it comes with two moisturizers, AM and PM, it comes with an eye cream, and it comes with an exfoliating scrub. Uh, I'm telling you right now, applying a skincare routine to your, da to your daily routine will make or break your confidence. So I, I suggest you, you can go, there's uh, many options out there. You can check out the one I'm using or you can check out uh, Geology is another one. I'll list a few in the description below. but. A skincare routine will change your, the way you feel and the way you look. Number six, a leather jacket. This is for someone that wants to be a little edgier. I think everyone should have a leather jacket in their closet. It could be oversized, it could be a biker jacket, it could be a fitted one. But a leather jacket is an essential in everyone's wardrobe. I think it's crucial, it could build your confidence instantly. I know for myself, ever since I started wearing leather jackets, it took my confidence from here to here. I'm telling you, you should go invest in a good one, not a cheap one, a good one and it would last you forever. Number seven, a clean pair of sneakers. Sneakers and shoes make the outfit. Whether you agree with it or you disagree, sneakers make the outfit. A clean pair of sneakers would take your outfit from a, from a one to a 10 instantly. So go invest in the few options. I'll list some in the description below. There's a few options out there that are from anywhere from $50 all the way up to $1,000. So whatever fix your budget, Go invest in a good pair of sneakers. I suggest anywhere from white, black, or gray to start with. You could even go navy. And then once you build those neutral essential colors, then you can go and get anything from red to yellow to royal blue to anything like that. So go invest in a good pair of sneakers. And lastly, number eight, a well-fitted suit. This depends on your style. If you're someone that's more edgy and oversized, go with an oversized suit. If you're someone that's more clean and likes to keep things more simple, go with something that's slim and well fitted to your body. Get it tailored is a must. Getting your suit tailored could take your suit from here to here. So go to anywhere from Suit Supply, you can go to Lord & Taylor, you can go anywhere to your local, anywhere in your local area that has that sells suits, go buy it there and then take it to a tailor that you normally use. But having a well fitted suit is crucial. Hey, who am I here with today? Alex Costa, how's it going? Nice to meet you. What's something that keeps you confident? Something that keeps me confident. Honestly, it's small wins. The small wins for me keep me going and just make me want to go out there and get more. And what was the nicest thing someone ever said to you? The nicest thing someone's ever said to me? Um, you know, I get a lot of messages online from people who said they've gotten a job or a girlfriend or they've, you know, they've elevated their lives somehow because of what I taught them online. And that to me, 
that's probably the best comment you can ever give me. Like, that's an amazing comment, amazing compliment. So I'm guessing that made you feel really good. It makes me want to keep going. You know, it's, the whole, it's like my purpose. That's what I love doing. And every time I get that comment, it just pushes me forward and it makes me want to do more. And for someone out there who's struggling with low self-confidence, what's one thing you could share with them? Check me out on YouTube. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> At Alex Costa. Let's do it. Hey, who am I here with today? Uh, my name is Josh. Nice to meet you. What's something that keeps you confident? Um, making sure that I leave the house wearing exactly what I want and um, usually with some bold colors. Uh, I guess I want to feel like I'm living the fantasy at all times and as long as I do then I, I feel like I'm doing it right. What's that one piece of clothing that makes you feel the most confident? Sunglasses. Um, sunglasses can change an outfit from like eh to like amazing um, and uh, just I can't really snap right now in gloves but <laughs> uh, sunglasses can turn an outfit. Um, I agree with you on that. Yeah. And what was the nicest thing someone ever told you? Um, I will say the favorite thing that I'm told is when I go shopping, if somebody says to me, a salesman says to me, uh, no one else could pull this off except you. How does that make you feel? That I'm buying it. Yeah. <laughs> so that's like an automatic sale. So if it doesn't work for others, it works for you. Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. I th yeah, exactly. Hey, who am I here with today? Kyrie Thompson. Nice to meet you. What's something that keeps you confident? Something that keeps me confident? Uh, you know, just being able to wake up and use my imagination every day. You know, uh, being able to create and connect with everybody. That's so amazing. And what was the nicest thing someone ever said to you? Um, wow, that's crazy. Oh, damn. <laughs> I get compliments every day. It's just, I don't know. <laughs> How does that make you feel when someone gives you a compliment? Uh, like on the outfit. Let me see the outfit right here. Man, it just gives me a boost of confidence, definitely. You know, um, being able to make someone's day just by looking nice or having a certain aura about you, you know? And for someone out there who's struggling with low self-esteem, low self-confidence, what's one thing you could share with them? Uh, definitely tap into yourself, you know? Like, um, learn more about yourself, wake up every day with a mission, and just, you know, uh, attack your goals one by one.